recently we collected uh, yeah, new information and also processed a uh, huge amount of data which is mm, yeah, nowadays available. Uh, for example, this involves uh, social uh, data feeds which are coming from our internet age. We can think of uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter and, and also search engines. And if I mention search engines, of course the, the leading search engine uh, Google and uh, also Yahoo are uh, very important for this kind of uh, information. And um, these feeds uh, tell us something about the question how often people are accessing information. The first study we did in the end of uh, last year uh, asked the question if there is a link between how often people are accessing information. So for example, how often they are Googling company names, for example and uh, stock market fluctuations. Well, is there a link? And um, we collected a huge amount of uh, this information and uh, our analysis, the, the result of our analysis is that um, there is of course obviously a link, uh, a very trivial link is the transaction volume. So if we talk about the weekly transaction volume in stock markets, there's a clear link uh, to the number of um, yeah, searches uh, carried out using the search engine uh, Google. This was um, our first study which was published in the end of last year. And, uh, yeah, and encouraged by, by this finding, we, we look, had a very deep look in these social data feeds. And uh, quite recently, uh, we found that there's also a link between the price changes and um, the behavior of yeah, our internet society. So what people are accessing, and not only company names in this case, mm, we analyzed uh, yeah, a very um, yeah, different uh, set of, of keywords. There were a set of keywords which is, mm, yeah, has relevance for financial markets. So for example, how often people are go uh, Googling for, for gold or financial crisis or similar terms, but also very, yeah, very different keywords which have no obvious uh, relation to stock markets. And we clearly find that um, there's a correlation between these frequencies, or to be very precise, to, uh, between the changes in frequency and uh, the stock market uh, price changes. And so based on this finding, we uh, constructed, uh, we, um, yeah, we used uh, hypothetical trading strategies using social uh, data feeds from Google and um, we were able to outperform the market very significantly based on this backtest. Um, and uh, I have to mention that this data is provided with a weekly granularity, so this is the information which is freely accessible, but for uh, to yeah to proof uh, for a proof of concept this information is very sufficient and we were able to outperform the market uh, we were able to outperform uh, buy and hold strategies but also uh, random strategies very significantly and so a typical outperformance was four standard deviations of random strategies which means it's something like a 500 400 uh, percent return over the period from 2004 until 2011 which is uh, very dramatically and shows that information gathered uh, by the internet or the leading institutions uh, um, in the internet are uh, very uh, helpful in, in order to in, in some way get an understanding of um, the, the people um, and what they are acting or that in, in which way they are going to act in the future also in terms of, of trading decisions.